I've got a new adventure for you today. Going from Truckee, California to Lake Tahoe in a seaplane. All right, something very different for me anyway, uh, and just there's an opportunity here for an experience. I'm gonna take it. So I'm here with Kevin Sloan, and he is with uh, Fly Truckee here in Truckee, California. And we're gonna go for a flight a little while in a float plane, which I've been in a seaplane, of course, before, but I've not been in a float plane. So this is a whole bunch of new experiences this week for me. So I appreciate that. So we'll give you a quick tour of uh, Kevin's plane and what he does. It's actually Fly Truckee Tahoe Got it. with our website flytruckeetahoe.com. This is a backcountry SQ2, so it's kind of a one of a kind airplane. It's uh, dynoed a little over 200 horsepower with a 360 fuel injected engine in it. Um, it's a uh, PA18 fuselage with SQ2 wings. So the wings are 40 feet tip to tip, they're absolutely enormous. This is not made to go fast. This is made to go slow and lift. and lift. Yeah. So you've got leading edge slats that are covered with a lot of bugs right now. I apologize, but that means we've been flying a lot. Um, we've got an 86 inch climb prop on here that Cato made. It's a custom orange because orange is kind of my logo of my company. It's a beast. Um, it is a beast. It's a beast. It's 2,300 pound max takeoff weight. Uh, as it sits, it's a little over 1,500 pounds, so it's almost 800 pounds useful load, uh, which is great up here at density altitude because today it's 90 degrees and we're at density altitude just under 9,000. So we need this kind of performance. Hey, before we get too deep into this, let me thank our sponsors that make all of this possible. Great companies like Airworks, Acme Aero, AirTech Coatings, Kit Plane Parts, Stoll Creek Aviation, the Land Sport Aviation Showcase, Edge Performance. So take a moment after this video to say hello to all of them and remember to check out the affiliate links in the description below. And remember, just build it. Let's get back to it. These are PK2250 Amphibs. Um, they're a aluminum Amphib compartments and they are a very stout float. Um, there is a, a, a lot of debate in the float plane world over composite floats compared to aluminum floats. For the kind of flying that we do here in Tahoe, we get what I call big water swells. So even when it's glassy, we get big swollen water. You need something that could cut through it. A lot of the other composite floats are really made to save weight and whatnot, and they're paired with airplanes that they're a little under floated on. So here in Tahoe, we like to beach, we like to dock, we like to be in bigger water. Tahoe's a weather maker itself. It's got a lot of wake boats and a, a, a lot of swell created by different, different things, not just weather. So something like this cuts through a lot better. Typical uh, SQ2 tail, so it's got a little bit wider elevator, a little bit bigger rudder. Fairly large flaps, not as big as the Fowler flaps, but as you can tell, if the wings are 20 feet aside, the flaps are a little more than half the size of the wings. So they're, they're pretty enormous. This airplane could honestly, uh, and I know people don't believe me till they get in it, but it'll fly in the high teens. Um, it's, it's, it's pretty extraordinary. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. Inside, it's a little dirty in the windshield, but it's got a glass dyno-on panel, so it's modern, so to speak, compared to not your grandpa's cub, but it still, it, it still flies like a traditional cub, real honest, real easy, real fun. All right, so we're gonna go do some flying. Not sure where exactly we're gonna stop off at, but anything's fun on an airplane, right? Somewhere where the scenery is spectacular.
right, so we just got back from a beautiful flight. We did, in fact, make it over Lake Tahoe. Tahoe? Tahoe. We did make it over Lake Tahoe, which is amazing. So if you're ever in this area or plan for a trip out here, do it. You won't regret it. Some amazing views. Kevin is an excellent pilot. If you want to come out this way and go for a flight with him, uh, get some seaplane time, get your seaplane rating. So the bulk of our business is float plane ratings. Um, we do what, uh, what I call an advanced accelerated course. So we have our clients come out here. They're here for three, four days. They're in Lake Tahoe, so a lot of them from out of state will bring their family up, rent a house or rent a hotel, and make a family vacation of it. And during those three, four days, we do the training. The training culminates with a check ride with our, with our DPE that we use directly, that we created this program with, actually. And they leave with their new seaplane rating. So it is a boutique niche rating. A lot of people do it as a uh, flight review or a notch on the belt. Some come for the commercial aspect of it, but most come because they're flying in Lake Tahoe and an absolute beautiful, incredible area. And uh, I got to say, if you're ever looking for a float rating, there isn't a better place in the world to do it. So, so this is actually what you're training over here. The other one, as you mentioned, is your personal experimental aircraft. Mm -hmm. All right. Yep. So this is a 2006 Cub Crafters Top Cub. This is certified. This is what we do our ratings in. It's an incredibly honest airplane, easy to fly, 180 horsepower. Max gross weight's also 2,300 pounds and useful load is just under 800 pounds. This one sits on WIP 2100s, so a little bit smaller float, um, but that's because this airplane is not quite as stout as the other experimental. Um, this one is also a, based on a PA-18 fuselage. And back in the early 2000s, Cub Crafters started, before they did the Carbon Cubs, started uh, the rebuild of PA-18s okay. and got them certified uh, from a PA-18 to a CC-11. And that's what this is, uh, also known as a Top Cub. Nice. And it's, if Kevin looks a little green, it's because he is. There's some green <laughs> panels in the door that's shining a green tint on all of us here. So I can open that if you want. No, 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 no. it's fine. Yeah, uh, this one, unfortunately, being certified, fortunately or unfortunately, you don't have as much leeway to do things as you would on experimental. Mm -hmm. But we've got the VGs on it, no leading edge slats, plenty of bugs to show that we've been using it quite a bit. Um, and uh, again, from a training standpoint, it's a Cub. It's about as honest of an airplane as you can get. When you put it on, it does what you ask it to do. Nice. Thank you, Brian. We sure appreciate you coming out and joining us. All right. Give us a call. Remember to like and subscribe. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram. And we now have a podcast on a separate channel called EAC Aviation Podcast. Available also on iTunes, Podbean, and Google Play. I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.